Hello, hello, hello. This is Decide This. And, you know what? I'm just going to just want to make this video because right now i am got a lot of shit to do and very little time to do it. But anyways, this video is going to be about the fantasies that we seem to have created within this gaming sphere that seems to progress and it seems to be killing the gaming industry altogether and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and a lot of these investors people out there think that this is the future of video games and how it's gonna go and it's not it's not going I mean it will be the future but it's just not going to happen like tomorrow or you know in two years because there's just so many obstacles in the way right now that's the problem I bet you're wondering what I'm talking about right well it's a multiple of different things starting off with the iPad now I don't get me wrong I, I mean the iPad's fine of course the screen's a little too big for me and I really don't need a screen that big but you know the majority of the people is like yes you do yes you do you must join you must have a screen this big whatever sure I'll go join the clone society and do what everybody else is doing thank you very much but anyways my problem right now with the iPad is that there are a certain group of people or clowns out there who literally thinks the iPad will replace everything in the living room that's not a joke they literally think that the tablets and or just the iPad in general it's gonna replace everything in fact I remember reading an article where one guy got rid of his entire entertainment center and replaced it with an iPad and said that's all he would ever need seriously and then there are those people who use just airplay which goes to the network this is my problem with also uh, Microsoft smart glass for the Xbox 360 is that it goes mostly it routes through your network settings so basically if your internet is too slow you're going to end up with a bunch of jagged images which is not good which is funny because the iPad and most Apple devices have Bluetooth I think they would want to run through that you know since the Wii U is running their new controller through a Bluetooth setting and don't give me any bullshit I do know that most companies are working with Bluetooth wireless television sets where they would hook take a VCR put it at the bottom of the TV plug it into the wall and then watch it uh, watch their well not their VCR but their DVDs without even hooking up any kind of physical connection between the television and the DVD player and it would be run through a YouTube stream I mean through a Bluetooth stream and that's where the technology for the Wii U controller came from of course everybody thinks that it's being there are groups of people that think it's being streamed through Wi-Fi just like smart glass and airplay is but you know the, the problem there is that once your internet is disconnected you now got a useless brick several of them in fact so yeah and if you're in a dark area what I mean dark areas where you get no internet whatsoever and no uh, uh, cell phone connections or maybe just you know the edge network you're fucked you either will have to move but unless you're something like oh I don't know a farmer whose crops whose entire income is dependent on how much crops you grow you really can't move really I mean and, if, and then there's those other groups of people and this is the, the bright end of the one I guess no it's not uh, but anyways they seem to think that people that on live is going to get rid of the next gen consoles and that's mainly one of the reasons why they don't want to switch because they literally think that the the PlayStation 4 the Xbox 720 and of course the Wii U are all gonna die because as soon as games that use on the online on live service is going to just overtake the entire console it's just gonna sweep it all out and it's gonna be the end of the consoles 
and right now the ending of the consoles is actually happening through the mobile devices if you haven't checked most of the major developers are switching to mobile devices because that's where they have to program for and they're programming less and less for gaming consoles than they are mo uh, mobile mobile devices yeah the uh, iPhone is killing the Xbox 360 that's a joke in itself and they all think that hey we gotta route everything through the internet into the Wi-Fi connections uh, screw this thing called Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi a connecting device you know like Xbox 360 controllers, we got to hook it all up through the Wi-Fi channels, even though we're going to clog up uh, the internet networks to the point that we will literally destroy it all at one time. So that way, when we get it into this near future where everybody's all using online and, mo and mobile devices, we can create a much huger video game crash than the one that we've seen in 1983. I know that nobody cares about graphics. That's why the Wii ended up becoming the top-selling console to this generation, even though its sales are dropping this year, because a lot of people are screaming uh, lots of bizarre shit. Everything from latest to greatest to Xbox 360 is the greatest device to the iPhone will kill all the gaming consoles in the world or iPad will replace your entire entertainment system. You don't even need a computer anymore. Just get rid of all your electronics, all your gaming consoles, all your television sets, and all your computer, and just use an iPad. Mm -hmm. That's good thinking there. And at OnLive, which is flawed real bad, will replace all the gaming consoles. And at AirPlay, will is the greatest uh, way of replacing gaming consoles ever. Yeah, they literally think AirPlay is going to kill the Xbox 360 as well, or things like the Xbox 360, which is a joke in itself. Smart Glass and AirPlay both use the internet, and it's in an infernal loop. And then once your internet connect goes down, or you're in a dark area, you're pretty much fucked. Because then AirPlay is useless, and so is Smart Glass. They're, they're just fucking useless. And and here's the truth about the internet and why it's not prominent everywhere yet. Right now, the United States really only has about uh, 60 to maybe close to 70 people on the internet right now. Because either there are religious reasons why they can't get on the internet, like the Amish and certain Mennonites, and, and I mean nothing against their religion, it's just that's what they believe. Or they just live in a dark area where internet, is, where they're forced to either buy a 56k modem, which by the way, AOL still sells their uh, dial-up services. Go figure that one out, people. Or they, and even worse, they can't get a cell phone connection through. Anything past the edge, or in some areas, the cell phones just ain't gonna work. On all services. Because we just have these areas that are called dead spots. Where they just, you know, internet is just not going to happen. And people refuse to leave there because either A, it's been their home for a long ass time. Or, or well, or so forth. Or B, you know, they can't move away. They have to stay there. Because that's where their work or their job is. But yet, we have somehow made up this insane fairy tale where we think that this incapable device that it's incapable today but in the far future it will take over but it's going to take its time but yet somehow we've created this minimal fantasy that oh all these people are on the internet it's a hundred percent all the way through no it's not it won't be 100%, and it will never be 100%. And, of course, there's the religious people, which, you know, <laughs> good luck in getting them all on the internet. But right now, we are living in an insane, crazy society that seems to think that, you know, things like OnLive or the iPad is the killer of consoles and televisions and everything else. 
and that everybody else is going to follow it. I also wanted to add that, yes, I know that the Ouya will have OnLive. And, and one of the other major problems with OnLive is that it requires at least 10 KB, uh, KB uh, internet access to just, you know, or it won't work. And in real truth, even at 10 KB uh, internet access, the uh, OnLive tends to not look very good. And, and I know this because... As you all know, OnLive is now free, and I tried it out, and even and I don't have like 20 KB, but I do have at least the necessary 10 KB, and it looks like shit. I mean, we're looking at pixelated garbages, and the image is all blurry, and you have to squint your eyes just to see what the fuck the picture shows on there. It's it's a fucking mess. I mean, yeah, things like OnLive as I say, will take over, but, you know, streaming video games is not going to be the option. There's just no fucking way. And the main reason why I tested it is so none of you bastards would get up there and say, well, you've never tried it. You don't know what on knives like. And it's like, okay, I tried it. And it looks like garbage at its most time at its most minimum settings, and it looks really, really bad. A couple of times it will look fine, but mostly it just looks like fucking garbage. And it's a goddamn mess. And if you try to do... You can play single-player games, but when you try to do multiplayer games, the whole fucking thing just throws up on your ass, and there's just no way around it. You, you can't even play multiplayer games on that thing at 10kb. Especially at 10kb, there's just no fucking way. It's It just looks like a pixelated garbage mess. No different than when you're looking at a streaming video and then all of a sudden it all goes uh, blocky. And next thing you know, you're blurring, you're squinting your eyes just to see the rest of the film. And you're just looking at one giant blocky image. I mean, but that shit will clear up even at 5kb. But... Streaming video games is a completely different monster.